Meanwhile, Broken Arrow Public Schools is hoping to help with vaccination efforts as well. The new this morning, an ongoing effort to get more students vaccinated and staff vaccinated before the fall semester. Broken Arrow Public Schools is teaming up with St. Francis Health System to provide COVID vaccines to school staff, students, and their families. Two News reporter Brady Halbleib joins us live from Broken Arrow to talk vaccines and schools. Brady, today's event isn't really the first of its kind, right? Yeah, well, last month we told you about Sand Springs holding their mass vaccination events for their students. Now, Broken Arrow is the next district to hold this sort of mass vaccination event to get more kids vaccinated before they enter the classroom this fall. And they are prepared here today for this mass vaccination event. It's happening right here at the Performing Arts Center at 701 South Main Street in the Rose District. The event kicks off at 10 a.m. and it will wrap up around 2 p.m. today. They've held other vaccination events here, but this one is specifically for Broken Arrow students 12 years and up, their families, staff, and Broken Arrow public school patrons. District administrators tell me it is their priority to get as many eligible students vaccinated before the fall semester as possible. They say it'll help keep students in the classroom and school staff safe after a very tough two years. We don't want to go back into the school year starting at square one. We want to be ahead of where we were at the end of last year, which we finished the school year great, really strong, and we want to be ahead of that and just really tackle it head on. That way school in-person attendance stays a priority. Students under the age of 18 will need a parent or guardian with them during their vaccination. Those parents or guardians will also need to fill out a consent form before their students can get a shot. And this event will be in tandem with another event on July 28th where people can get their booster shots. Now, educators and doctors tell me the best way to mitigate the spread of COVID-19 within the classrooms is to just get everyone immunized and vaccinated so they have those antibodies ready to go to protect them for the fall semester. We'll talk more about that coming up in our next half hour. For now, live in Broken Arrow, Brady Halbleib, 2 News.